Alex, you bored me with platforms. Bored you? Yeah. Oh, there's so much stuff, it's unbelievable. So, you've been dying to do this one. Oh, Ground yeah. Baits. Ground bait. I mean, it's a minefield, isn't it? I mean, obviously, being a shop on a fishery, we do a lot of commercial uh, fish meal ground baits. Um, but obviously, with the drains, we don't use fish meal. So, um, census are the main ones, found and ironed. A bit of hinders, we also do a bit of spotted fin, the new spotted fin range. Um, I mean, obviously the Boland that we've talked about, and obviously Turbo, which is fantastic ground bait from Van der Nijnd. Um But we'll start with, we'll start with the top shelf, so we say. So on the top shelf, I've basically got lake ground bait. Just because it says lake doesn't mean it's just, you use it on a lake. It's a really active mix. Skimmers love it. Um, roach as well. They do a sweet fish mill, which is that one. A lot of anglers use that for skimmers and roach on commercials that see a lot of fish mill. You got red, natural, which is obviously the main, the main original lake, and then black lake, which is now back in stock again. And the new packaging. Um, really active. A lot of anglers, if they're using bloodworm and joker, use leem and lake. Um, venues that are quite shallow, sort of a bottom-up ground bait. Really popular mix. And then obviously there's the French style packaging, which again, Etang Noir, yellow, which is jaune, and then the fine mature, which is a really fine version of the original lake. Um, lovely mix. If you're fishing for small fish or venues that have been fished to death, then the fine mature is a good mix to use. Um, next, oh, obviously, gross garlons. Probably one of the most used ground baits on the drains. They do a fine mature and then they do the original gross garlons. It's quite a bitter sweet ground bait, it's quite coarse. Roach love it and it's sticky as well. So if you're fishing a venue with a bit of pace, a bit of colour, you'd go for that. And then they also do the same, but in a black colour. So they're the gross guard on. The other mix in that 3000 range, which is very popular, is Noir. I love Noir. That is really chocolatey. Um, it's just brilliant for roach and pommies or silver bream, any you want to call them. Um, then you got your canal range, so this is one of the most popular ones. It's uh, Canal Mature, Fine Mature. Comes in a new bag now, so if it's not in a bag like that, it'll be in a bag like that. It's basically very similar to the wire, but quite finer. I do use it a lot on Benick, March, Factory, those sort of drains. Um, and then a normal, that's the original Canal Black, all in a nice split bag. But, uh, smell of vision, it smells really nice. Um, that's good. Benick, places like that, it's fine. It's sort of a, it can be quite heavy but soft when you mix it up. Um, really popular around here with a lot of the match anglers. It's just a, like a base mix. If you sort of had to say, what ground bait would you start from? You'd probably start with Canal Black and then add something else to it, depending on what you were targeting. Um, Supreme, very good for lots of small fish. Um, it's quite cloudy as well, so when the fish are working, feeding in the bottom, it does tend to create a bit of a cloud. That's Formula Supreme. You could even mix it wet, make a nice soft ball. So Alex, got a question for you. Yeah. You've got the same mixes but different colours. One's obviously black, yeah. one's obviously yeah, obviously. Brown. So why the different colours? Uh, the darker the ground bait for more clearer waters and the more coloured there is you can get away with your browns and, and you know your standard colours. Um, but obviously a lot of anglers add these together and then add a bit of Trasics um, just mix it up and obviously it goes black. I mean in the winter all your ground baits are normally dark and in the summer they tend to be more sort of more natural um, yellow is quite good in the summer for bream. That's why we've got the zone, the zone the tang. See, it's a bit more yellow. Um, and then we've also got some other bream ground baits that are quite yellow. 
like the Van der Nijn DS feeder. You can see how sort of that's the colouring for oh, that. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, and this one as well, which is a Breen ground bait, explosive Breen. Notice how most of the Breen ground baits are yellow. Brilliant in the summer, that is, on the drains. Especially for skimmers when you're trying to get a bit of a cloud in your peg, like middle level and places like that. So why, why do you think that's important? Um, well, fish feel more confident in a cloud. It's like, why do the Breen feed at night? Because it's dark and they feel confident. Um, but why the yellow colour in the summer? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, some people might say red, you know. Everyone's got their favourites. Some venues, I know they even use Red Magic, which is there, but on the air, places like that, when it's really coloured, they love it. So the air and, and the broads and that, they use Red Magic. Um, who knows? I mean, obviously, then you go on to, like, your pasta chinos, which that is... is, that is what, that, what is that? So these, this is basically biscuit. Um, if you were to eat that, it's like Italian biscuit, so it's really sweet. So that one is well, basically a... The lights in the shop are turning it off, so that's a better look. I don't know if that's better, is it? Probably I not. I can't see it. Where is it? You can't see it in there, no. That, that's basically, that's a coarser version of that. That's bright red. That's not bright that's red. Fluoro, so that's like a pink Fluoro, pink yeah, the fluoro clump. And then they've got the yellow. So basically the idea with these is you just put a handful in, in your bream mixes. And roach mix as well, they absolutely love it. When you catch them, you can see them spewing it up. So Especially you put this, this goes into your fine mix, just to yeah, make it so like a crunch, is it? Yeah, so it's visual. It's like with pop-up fishing for carp. The fish are inquisitive. They see a bright flow of pop-up and they come in and have a look. Next thing you know, that you they're hooked, aren't they? Um, and this, they actually eat this stuff. Um, so you've got a red, a yellow. That's a finer yellow. The sensors do. Then they do a bicolour, which is um, basically bigger particles. This They used to use this in Ireland for fishing for hybrids because it sinks quite slow. Um, it creates like a slow fall, and that's what the hybrids like. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a minefield, really, Andy. It's, it's mental. So, you might use that Italian fluorescent biscuit in your mix in the summer to try and get... Yeah. For big bream, skimmers, roach, I've used it at Tamar, big advocate at Tamar. In the um, winter, no go? Uh, I don't think much. so, no. I think in the winter they want, it's like when you're fishing in the winter for carp, they want sort of expanders, soft baits. Um, but there's probably anglers that do really well on it. I don't know, I've, I haven't really tried it in the winter, so I don't really know. But um, that that's that's more of a, in the summer, springtime, when we come to the feeder fishing and, and bream fishing, they sell loads of them yeah yeah it w they work definitely works i mean going back to the lake they do a super black range census which basically a lot of the ground baits well that say they're black they're just dyed but after a while the color washes out but this is made with all black ingredients so it always stays black on the bottom and they, these have been really really popular as you can see they do a a canal and they do a roach but sensors are out of stock of them at the minute but I think they're coming in this week so they'll be they're, they're quite popular yes you have a gap in your shelf yeah I know I know that's the no. sign of a good bait <laughs> well it is yeah um, this is a good ground bait sell a lot a of this of <laughs> it looks like it no it's the frenzied match black a uh, lot of hemp in there it's quite an active mix it's got a bit of biscuit in there it's just brilliant for the drains, especially for roach fishing, it's, it's really good. Um, so going back to the bream ground baits, so this is more like your summery mix. Magic, brilliant ground bait, really good for skimmers. That has been around a very long time. Yeah. 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 Was that Van, Van der Nijn at one point? No, no, um, Van der Nijn do That's the special. one, that's the one, uh, yeah. Special, yeah. That's your, Alex, uh, I used to use that when I was back Well, fishing. a lot of shops don't stock that. It's it gone smells out. Smells beautiful. It is nice, yeah. Magic's really, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's really different. Um, so you've got Magic Natural, Magic Red, and then the obviously Magic Black is very aniseedy. Yeah. That might be the one you're thinking of. No, it's, it's the Van der Nijden, that one down there. Yeah. We used to use that one, and we used to use... Super Cup. Yep, yeah, and that one. Yeah. Crazy, it. Well, it just yeah. shows the packaging's changed over the years, but the ground bait should still be the same. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, they're more like your skimmery mixes. Pigeon poo. Yeah, pigeon poo. DM. Sell some of that. Yeah. It's mad. Copra. That's like coconut. That's good for small fish. Um, going back to this shelf, obviously we did the super explosive brand Dutch feeder. Bream 3000. See how yellowy that is? Yep. I mean, this time of year you wouldn't use that, but give it another two or three months and they'll all be uh, onto that. So we'll go down to the next shelf. We've done the pastachino. Obviously, they do a yellow, a red. They do a bicolour, which is the two mixed together, which are the quite big chunks. Um, a piscine. That is like a sweet sort of, it's good for roach and, and skimmers. Ooh, too far away from the camera. Pigeon poo, super crack. Um, that's got a lot of coriander in it, it's a real nice mix. It, they're all very similar, everyone has their own favourites. Um, I would say it's similar, what would I say that's similar to? Uh, it's not like lake, it's like probably a canal blacky lake sort of mix, there's quite a lot of coriander in there. Obviously super cut, tried and tested, that's the black one. Really nice mix, world champion. That's quite a heavy mix, and you can see it's coarse, it's more of a river mix rather than a drain mix. Secret, now that is a secret. There, secret, a little bit special. Um, brilliant ground bait. You, a lot of anglers use it as a binder, but roach love it. It is really good ground bait. 